Hi, today we are going to show you how to bind Avionic RCB OS 10 transmitter with an RCB 6i receiver. We have got the transmitter, we got the receiver, we got a ESC battery and a servo for the testing. I am going to connect the power of the receiver by connecting the ESC. I have connected the ESC to uh, channel 3 of the receiver and make sure you connect the signal positive and negative correctly. And I am also going to connect a servo to the channel 1 for the testing. I am going to power up the receiver and the power receiver is powered. As you can see there is a LED light blinking. Now this indicates that the transmitter and receiver is not binded. So you will have to change the before doing that let me show you the connection as you can see it is blinking and when I am giving the aileron there is no response in the servo. <coughs> let us unpower the receiver and in the transmitter you will have to change the protocols which I will show you right now. You will have to enter the menu. As you can see there is a lot of options but you will have to go for the model setting. And here you will have an option called as bind and RF. As you can see the sixth option bind and RF. Enter and you will find the bind and RF page. You can see there is bind option and a protocol. Here now that we are uh, binding the RCB OS 10 with an RCB 6i receiver you will ha have to change the protocol. <coughs> sorry enter into the protocol once you enter there is a underline coming be below the RCB OS 10 I will just press up as you can see uh, the protocol has been changed to RCB 6 now it is changed but it is not saved so now we will have to save it press enter once more and as you can see there is a underline went off you have to go to the save RF configuration press enter. Now the transmitter has been uh, protocol has been selected to RCB 6i. Now the transmitter is ready to get binded with the RCB 6i receiver. Now once I press on the bind you only get have a window of 10 seconds for the binding. I will just show you that uh, binding. This last binding procedure only lasts for 10 seconds. So you will have to be quick while binding the receiver. For this procedure on the receiver you can see a bind button you can hear the button. So once the binding procedure has been started in the transmitter you get a 10 seconds. In the 10 seconds you will have to I'll re, I think you will require a help of someone for the powering up and while before powering up you need to press hold of bind button and then power up the receiver. As soon as you see the first red light you need to release the bind button. Then only the transmitter will get binded with the receiver. So now I am going to quickly do that. Just hold it. It's a bit tough doing with single person so take help from one of your friends or colleagues who is near you. I am just going to press enter, press hold of bind, power up the receiver. I will let go of the receiver button. As you can see the receiver light. Once it is binded the LED will start blinking for 2 seconds continuously and it will stop. And now you get a constant LED signal from the receiver LED light. Now we will test with the receiver servo which is uh, connected with the channel 1 and as you can see the servo responds. This is a simple easy procedure which you can actually bind an RCB OS 10 with the RCB 6i receiver also.